Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. And today's question is about semen retention. And uh, basically the, the question is, hey, Dr. Sam, I wanted to know how much does semen retention increase testosterone levels? I heard it can more than double it. And uh, what are your thoughts? So basically semen retention means that you don't have an orgasm, right? You either uh, don't masturbate, don't have sex, and therefore you don't have an orgasm, or you masturbate, but don't have an orgasm. Basically, you just don't shoot. Basically, some people call it no, no fap on TikTok or, um, you know, YouTube. These guys are claiming that they can, you know, increase testosterone levels by, you know, double, sometimes 145% and so forth. And uh, most of these claims, and I had to look it up, was um, based on, I don't know, some call it bro science, that it was a 2003 study and it showed that not having an orgasm, basically semen retention, whatever you want to call it, um, for seven days on, on day seven, their testosterone levels increased by 145%. That's more than double. Like if, so if it's 300 and it more, if it went up a hundred percent, you'd have 600, 145% would be in visual, like a couple hundred. So is this true, right? Can you double your testosterone levels by not having an orgasm and retaining your sperm? Let's just talk about what the science has said. Um, like I said, um, the, the Chinese study, 2000, there is a research study showed in 2003 by Chinese um, that men abstaining from sex or masturbation, testosterone levels basically stayed the same for the first six days. Then on day seven, there was a small spike. Small spike is what they wrote. But on day eight, the testosterone returned back to baseline. I don't know what the difference in day six or seven or eight is, but basically a week later, not much happened. Now, what happened after more days of not having an orgasm? Nothing additional. Uh, there's no long-term or permanent increase in testosterone levels. And and the question is, why is this? And and it's really your body doesn't like change. It likes homeostasis. It just likes to keep things nice and consistent. Um, anytime you do one thing, you, the body does the opposite. If you don't you know, if you take an upper and you have a ton of energy, eventually you'll crash and then go below and get super tired. Your body just wants to balance things out. And hormones are super powerful, which means your body keeps a tight regulation on it. Unless you do something exogenously from the outside, like taking a testosterone or taking something that tells your body to produce more, right? Because of a drug like HCG or something. Your body, if you're trying to do it naturally from within, such as, you know, certain workouts or you want to do semen retention, your body is just going to go up and down. It's because it's tightly regulated internally. It's only going to increase testosterone levels if you do something exogenously from the outside, endogenously from the inside, exogenously from the outside. And uh, I'll tell you how you can do that in a second. So why are these guys talking about all this, you know, doubling your testosterone? I don't know if it's like a clickbait thing, but maybe there's one study I told you in Chinese that just baseline, but are there other studies? Yes, there are. I have to look it up. Um, there's one called ejaculation frequency in men related to general abdominal adiposity, which is body fat, erectile dysfunction, and testosterone. This is a newer 2021 study. The study examined masturbation frequency and found that higher masturbation frequency predicted higher testosterone levels, all right? Thus, not the reverse. So more masturbation actually increased higher testosterone levels. And this goes against the whole semen retention equals higher testosterone levels. There was another one. It was revisiting the relationship between ejaculatory abstinence and serum testosterone levels in 2017. This review looked at multiple older studies and notes fluctuates in testosterone levels between days two and five, of abstinence, not, you know, having an orgasm or anything, but the idea of a big boost, nothing solid. And it discusses that some of the most cited data, like that one I mentioned that increased uh, 145% testosterone levels in seven days was weak or methodologically flawed. That means there's a lot of problems with that. And I'll talk about that a little bit later, later. The study wasn't so well. There's another one called ejaculation effect of testosterone levels. And this review states that ejaculation results in a change in prolactin increase, and I'll talk about that in a minute, and a dopamine decrease, but does not result in changes in testosterone levels long-term. In other words, short-term hormonal fluctuations may occur, but again, your body basically goes down to baseline all the time. And um, earlier I said how the prolactin, basically anytime you have an orgasm, uh, 
a lot of changes happen, oxytocin, different hormones, but the main one is your prolactin levels go up and at the same time, your dopamine levels go down. What does that mean? Prolactin is a female hormone uh, that women produce a lot of when they're going to produce milk. But in men, we also produce it. When high prolactin goes up, it reduces, uh, it increases refractory period. Basically your ability to have an or get an erection, have an orgasm again. Multiple reasons, testosterone effects as dopamine goes down. Actually, dopamine and prolactin go in opposite things. When dopamine is high, prolactin is low. That's when you get higher sex drive. And then after an orgasm, your prolactin levels go up. You're more relaxed, but dopamine levels come down. When you're young, this refractory period because of your higher testosterone levels is quicker. So you might have another orgasm in a few minutes, a few hours, right? Maybe later on that day. As you get older, hormones change. You're also not as sensitive and now it takes you another day or another three days or maybe once a week you can have an orgasm because of that longer refractory period uh, because of prolactin and dopamine and testosterone levels. I mentioned these clinical studies because I, you know, a lot of times, most clinical studies, I would say 90% of these are never accurate. There's always some major flaw. And uh, that's why you don't listen to a lot of these studies. And if you nitpick them, if you dug deep, 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 you'll notice that there's always a problem. For example, that famous 2003 study that showed testosterone levels increased by 145% in seven days that all these, you know, bro science TikTok guys are talking about. Well, first of all, there's barely anyone in there and so forth. And, and what happened was it was retracted back later because the information was not accurate and was flawed. But people don't dig in deep enough. They just see something cool, click baby, and they talk about that. And remember, like I said, your body will always go back to baseline normal age genetics and hormones go up if you somehow are able to increase your testosterone levels which i'll talk about how in a minute naturally if you do it correctly then you'll have a higher baseline and your body will always go back to the higher baseline it's just think of it this way if you're trying to lose weight people will like lose weight like let's say 10 pounds and then then they give up and the body goes right back but if you were to lose that weight and keep it at that new body weight for like six months to a year that's your body's new set point it's going to be having a hard time trying to gain weight because that's your body set point so it's always going back to homeostasis to your testosterone levels when you try to do things these things naturally i know there's a no fab movement and a lot of guys are you know it's like a manly thing to just not orgasm or something um you know it does cause stress on the body remember we produce millions and billions of sperm it's designed to be get out this is why guys when they're young they have wet dreams nocturnal emission because they they have to get it out it's like something with the body's like dude i got so much sperm and so much testosterone i need to get it out whether you do it with someone you do it yourself if you don't i'm gonna get it out that's because there's so much hormones going up there's a massive spikes when you're young of course later on those wet dreams are long gone um but obsessing about this stuff you know it's going to cause stress guilt even unhealthy relationship with sex itself uh guys we already have enough hang-ups with our penises we don't need to always worrying about this semen retention thing but all right let's get back to the real business your goal is to increase testosterone levels what are natural ways to do it i mentioned this a lot of my videos i'll put everything underneath this in the description here lifting weights works okay but don't obsess over it like lifting six days a week two hours lift three to five times a week um, I've got a whole workout thing and lift heavier weights, but don't again, kill yourself because if you do too much cortisol levels go up, which is bad. Optimize your sleep. I know everyone talks about now, you know, it you're supposed to sleep well. I know I'm supposed to sleep well. And I still screw it up at least two, three times a week. When I was younger, I screwed it up all the time. So optimizing your sleep means you get, you get all your hormones produced at night which is really important, including your testosterone. That's one reason you wake up with morning erections because your testosterone is an all-time peak in the morning, assuming you slept well. If you're not getting those morning erections, something is wrong. Losing body fat, excess body fat is also very important because your body fat produces estrogen all by itself. And as estrogen levels go up, it tells your hypothalamus, pituitary, blah, 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 to produce less testosterone. All right. So estrogen goes up, 
testosterone comes down. Not only is that bad, now the ratio is even worse. Now you have more negative estrogen ratio and lower testosterone. So not only are you having less of this, you're having more of the other, and it's like a double whammy. So losing body fat will decrease estrogen, will naturally increase your testosterone levels. Another super important fact that I keep telling you guys, manage stress, 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 stress. Why? Because uh, high cortisol levels, chronically elevated cortisol levels, um, whether it's because you're on your phone all the time, stressed with work, stressed with women, stressed with money, with all this stuff, high cortisol levels is the number one thing that's going to lower testosterone. In fact, I've said it before, hey, what's the opposite hormone of testosterone? Someone says, it's estrogen, it's this. No, it's cortisol. Okay, you want to tank your testosterone levels? Don't sleep for a night your cortisol levels will shoot up and you go to the doctor and they're going to do a blood test and you have like no testosterone, super low. This is how I got some guys to do get their TRTs because they're like, hey doc, I have no testosterone. All they did was tank it on purpose for a couple of days. I'm not sleeping high stress. I'm not telling you to do that, but that's why stress is the worst. So manage your stress levels. I'm not saying you can control the outside world, but stop focusing on shit you can't control. Get rid of toxic people. Stop listening to toxic news, okay? That's stress, and that constant adrenaline and cortisol is bad for everything, including your testosterone and your erections. Another thing, dude, you guys got to eat well. You know, this is bogus. Everyone knows this. Eat well. The more junk you put in your body, the less nutrients it has to produce testosterone. I tell people one of the best foods for testosterone and your overall health is whole eggs. Okay, it doesn't do anything to increase your, your cholesterol and blood test, but it, cholesterol is needed to produce testosterone. Right? I had three to four whole eggs every night. Now I do it at night because that's when your testosterone is made. And I notice that when I have eggs, and I don't have it all the time, sometimes I get tired of when I don't have it, but the nights I don't have a whole eggs, you know, three, four whole eggs, I don't get those hard morning erections the next day. Coincidence? I don't know. But I've seen it happen way too many times. I won't have whole eggs for a couple of days and I'll have it and boom, I wake up with those morning erections again, like much you know, longer and harder than usual. So keep that in mind. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat soda. Stop. You already know. Don't eat fried eating out. You already know all this stuff. Improve your health. Improve your life. Improve your testosterone levels. Also, if you want to just speed up the whole process, if you want, you know, to get faster results, because I know I tell people to do all these things and you guys don't do it, you get lazy, you know, manage your health. It'll improve everything in your life. I always talk to people, at least take supplements. I'm not here to promote my shit all the time, but I love Alpha Viral. Um, it's been, I've been using it for over 25 years. Why do I love it? Because it optimizes all your hormones, total and free testosterone levels. Then it balances estrogen, DHT prolactin, dopamine. I'm a doctor. I'm a hormone doctor. This is what I wanted. It's got a 25 year proven track record, better, best of all results in 30 days, or you pay nothing. And I give you an additional hundred dollars cash back. Why do it? Why can I make this awesome guarantee? Because I have 25 years of proof and hundreds and thousands of guys liking the product before and after blood tests. Anyhow, that's the fast way that you can get results. It's easy and convenient, but it's not going to take over you improving your life, okay? Stress, sleep, food, and all that stuff. And ultimately, when it comes down to all this, guys, enjoy having an orgasm, all right? It's cool. It's a good part of life. Enjoy it now because I guarantee you when you're later on, later when you're older, you're not going to be having orgasms as often, all right? Enjoy it now. If you want to not have an orgasm, by all means, it's your choice. But me as a guy in my 50s, I'm telling you right now, enjoy it, okay? Enjoy the erections, enjoy the orgasms. Do it as much as you can and don't get obsessed. It'll improve your life. Later on in life, you won't be doing it as much. So there you have it. If you found this helpful, share it. If you're already subscribed, great. And take a look underneath in the description area about all the stuff I've mentioned, quick links. And uh, let me know what you need, questions about, comments below. Thanks, bye.